Hi, my name is Amy O'Donnell. I'm the Communications Director here at Texas Alliance for Life, and we've had a very eventful week. If you follow the news at all, you've seen that on September 1st, the Heartbeat Act took effect in Texas, along with many other laws. This act has largely stopped abortions from taking place in Texas to the tune of about 200 unborn babies saved daily. Our phones have been ringing off the hook. We have taken calls from reporters and from people with many questions about how this act works. And we celebrate that. But in the midst of all of the excitement around that law taking effect, something else has been a little bit swept aside this week that we're also very excited about. And that is Senate Bill 4, the Chemical Abortion Regulations Bill, authored by Senator Lucio from the Valley. He's a Democrat from the Valley. And uh, the House version by Representative Stephanie Click passed this week in the House. That was the last step in its passage during the second special session, and it has been sent to Governor Greg Abbott's desk for signing. This legislation, we have worked several sessions to accomplish, and so we are celebrating that this week as well. And in the midst of all of this going on legislatively and judiciously, we've also put together some videos to educate our viewers on chemical abortions, the complications, the risks, and what can happen if those abortion drugs fall into the wrong hands. We've released several videos this week on all of our video outlets, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. We invite you to take a look at the three already released if you haven't yet, we have a knowledgeable doctor from San Antonio who testified for Senate Bill 4. We have Dr. Poyman giving some of the legislative history and some other facts about chemical abortions that are very good to hear and know, countering a lot of misinformation that we hear in the media. Our last video coming your way today is a very special one, and it's a little bit of a different tune. It's a story. We all love stories. It's a story about a girl who went through something and through her experience that she's gonna share with you right after this introductory video, she's gonna let you know what can happen if those chemical abortion drugs fall into the wrong hands and why it's so important that we keep regulations in place to keep that from happening. So here, I'm gonna go ahead and hand it off so you can watch that story now. And I hope if you haven't watched the others, you'll go back and do that. Thank you for tuning in to today's live update. We hope to see you again next week. My story begins really back when I was three years old. It was the first time any sexual abuse ever occurred. I was abused by a family member, by an uncle. He abused me every single time we were ever together, um, whether we were alone, whether we were at a family event, it was a constant occurrence. He had said to me that this is our secret. And now that I'm older, I realize that a lot of this is patterns of many other child abuse cases. I would say the abuse went on until I was about 11 years old is what is always the number. I think I, how old I was, I don't actually know an end date, but I remember when I was young learning about, I'm gonna get a period one day. And I had a very basic understanding that periods equal, you have the possibility to become pregnant. So I just had this urgency, this, once I, I understood that about my body, that I never want to go back to Uncle Name's house out of fear of being raped and becoming pregnant at that age. From that pain, <clears throat> I think comes a lot of where I'm at now with this feeling of I can't ever not speak up when there's injustice happening. I think that's why, in the present time, why I'm so vocal about the topic of abortion and how it is the ending, the ending of innocent human life. Innocent. And I just feel like I have to say something.
I am staunchly against chemical abortion out of knowledge of life in the womb and how abortion procedures work, how they end a human life, and because of my personal experience of knowing the evil of sex abusers and how they can do things secretly, ugly things, and knowing that I would never want the RU46 pill in the hands of a sex abuser who can give that to a minor, give that to the person who they are abusing and continue to abuse them. To keep that abuse uh, secret, hidden, and for it to possibly never be brought to light and brought to authorities. What will possibly happen are Amazon deliveries of RU486 pill right to your doorstep. Um, this is possible really to anyone with a phone and internet access. So there can be minors, there could be young girls, there could be boyfriends um, being able to just order this. And along the lines with my story, same thing with sex abusers, also with um, human traffickers can easily get access to the horrible drug and continue on with the horrible abuse. And so this not only covers up the crime, it also hurts women and it ends the lives of children.